all right guys megborn here and today's video i want to share with you how you can disturb baking your material so that you can upload it on another 3d software like cinema 4d maya or 3ds max and you can also sell it on sketchfab to make a little bit of money with your material so let's get started make a right click here and open another split like that maybe another one more right here and on this one let's go to image editor and in this one let's go to shader editor all right guys that is the material that we are going to bake we are going to bake in this tutorial we are going to bake the base color roughness and normal before we start baking our material make sure that your object is unwrapped so let's go to uv editor as you can see my object is unwrapped right now if your object is not unwrapped just select all the vertex or face or edge now press u and unwrap it now let's go back to layer and also important make sure that you are using you are using cycle render engine because if it doesn't support a bake now let's start our baking first create a new image like this press on new and now give it a name i will because i will start with a base color let's call it tyler base color now right here it is the resolution of our our material or our image texture if you want to make it right now it is 1k resolution but you can you can make it for 4k or 3k if you want to make your object be 4k resolution just put your mouse button here and hold and and let go now type start for that uh, that is going to multiply your dimension by 4 as you can see right now we have a dimension of 4k now if you want to go back to previously image dimension or texture dimension just do the same thing put your mouse button right here hold and scroll down now div divide it by 4 for for this tutorial i will just go with 1k resolution because that are going to bake a little bit quick now let's press ok as you can see right now we have a black a black square texture that is because we we doesn't have we, we do not have baking any any color any roughness or any any normal texture so let's do that let's go to to our shader editor shift a to add and go let's search image texture let's put it right here now let's let's come here and choose and find uh, our our name given i think it is this one now let's go to cycle setting on cycle setting let's let's scroll down all the way down to bake now let's go to bake type and change the combine combine it to diffuse diffuse is is the same name of base color or color that is the the, the same name this is, this is the same thing now in on influence let, let's uncheck direct and and direct because we want only to bake the color this other two are not important so our our base color is ready to bake before we baking in make sure that your object which have a material is selected and your image texture is selected now press bake button this take a little bit of time is really it it is really depend of the power of your computer mine is a very very a very bad computer so i think i will i will stop the recording and i will see you when the bake is finished 
Alright guys, our bake is finished. As you can see, we have this, this material, this base color, like the same right here. This is the same. And the only thing we have to do now is to save our image. Let's go to image and, and let's save us. Uh, you can create a folder where you will save your 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 base color or image. I will I will just call it Tyler Tyler living living room. Now let's go in and let's save our our mod. Let's let's give a name base color. Tidal living, but it is just a name. For the former, you, former you can you can use PNG, JPEG, or all that is it is a image format. I will just go with PNG and press save. All right, guys. If you don't think correctly, you will have your base color looking like this in your footage or your folder. You will have this image looking like this. This is the base color that we bake in. Now let's do the same thing with normal and roughness. Let's go to image and create a new one. In this time, I will just give a name, uh, Tyler Roughness and one and press OK. And let's go to our shader editor and let's find this name. And, and on, on roughness, make sure that uh, we, you, we are not using the color because we are already big our color. So let's choose non color. Now let's go to our bake setting. Let's change diffuse to to roughness because we are baking roughness and that is okay. Let's make sure that your object is selected, your image texture is selected. Now let's bake in. Press bake. Like previously, this is going to take a lot of time. It really depends of the power of your computer so i will see you when the bake is finished all right guys like previously you will have your roughness in this square image texture looking like this the only thing you have to do now is to go like in image and save as just give a name and save and for the roughness i will just give you a homework let's let's do like we we are done previously with base color and and roughness let's do the same just do the same thing with the normal if you don't think correctly you will have your normal looking like this and your roughness looking like this all right guys right now i'm going to show you how you can upload this image texture or image material that we are baking to a new project so that you, do, you don't have to build all this material again and that can allow you to to work a little bit faster so let's create another blender project all right guys right now we are in another blender project let's select all that and delete it let's add a, an image plane and let's open another split like that and let's go to render render view let's use the environment texture which come with blender i will go with with that one i think it's looking very cool and right now we we can we can use eevee because it is it will be real time render uh, render and that is that will go a little bit faster and on this bit let's go to shader editor and we can add a new a new material and now guys let's upload our image texture that we are baking i will start with a base color just take your base color and put it in 
our shader editor like that and take this color and put it into base color as you can see it works perfectly fine let's take our roughness and do the same thing take it and put it into the roughness as you can see we have a little bit of reflection if the reflection is, is not showing up there you can add a color ramp to make it a little bit a bit bright let's take this color and dark it a little bit because we are on EV let's go and uncheck screen reflection and bloom and ambient occlusion as we can see now we have a nice reflection a little bit of reflection in our flow let's also do the same thing with normal let's take this normal and put it right here now let's put it into normal it doesn't work it doesn't work right now because we have to to convert this color data into normal so let's search a bump and put it right here now let's take this normal and put it into height as you can see right here we had a little bit of bump let's decrease it a little bit because it is too strong right now all right guys there we have it and as you can see it is working pretty pretty cool and that is guys and that is how you can bake your material in blender for the people which want more example i would take another project that i made in blender because in some case when you apply the the texture it doesn't work properly because we, we have to do another setting so let me show you what i mean all right guys here we are on my another blender house project so i, I will show you how you can apply this material that we had baking to this floor now let's let's take the the material i already set that up let's just apply it as you can see guys in this case when i apply the material it doesn't work properly the material it is not it's not working it's not working to to fix that let's go to uh, to go let's go to object editor and let's select the face that we applied the material now press u and just press on smart uv project and that's that is going to solve our problem and now when you press ok it's work so in case that you apply your material and it doesn't work let's just press u and use smart uv project and that's fixed uh, that's fixed the problem so guys that is your hand i hope this tutorial was help you for you if it's if that help you guys just subscribe guys just subscribe and like a video comment or share that we allow another person to 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 find this this tutorial for me I will leave you right now. I think I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye for now.